Hello everyone, today I'm going to present Trace Unit Transformers Make Strong Encoders for Musical Image Segmentation by uh, GNN Chen et al. in 2021. So, in this presentation, we're going to cover the vision transformer architecture uh, for musical image segmentation, which is composed of uh, three main components uh, or three main uh, known architectures. So, for the uh, newly emerged transformer vision, uh, transformer encoders are built from uh, vision transformer. A hybrid CNN transformer architecture where the authors uh, uses a ResNet uh, 50 as a CNN, um, a cascade, abs cascade upsampling, uh, upsampling of the hidden feature representation of the vision transformer. We will cover that in a minute, and a unit architecture by uh, uh, a unit architecture for the transformer encoders. So. The transformer encoders adopted from Vision Transformer um, actually captures global attention over input sequences, and the I mean the input sequence will be flattened uh, will be actual flattened patches. So the hybrid CNN or the uh, ResNet 50 uh, Vision Transformer architecture leverages uh, detailed high resolution spatial information from CNN features, and um, which I mean the the, um, the CNN will be will be the flattened patches included in the vision transformer. And the vision transformer will actual, um, actually will capture the global context as a, whole, as a whole. The cascade upcycling of the hidden features will be in the form of the unit, um, and then the unit, uh, and then unit architecture um, will have skip connections um, as the original paper. Uh, this extracts low level features and enhances fine details, finer details and recover uh, local spatial uh, information. So now back to the vision transformer by Dozovitsky and all, uh, since it is one, uh, one component of the trans unit. So here we have a hard split image into patches where each patch is flattened. That is, we take each pixel value of all the channels and put them into a vector. Uh, then the project, then we do a projection or we project them to a learnable uh, embedding uh, matrix uh, E, um, where the, uh, the dimension of the uh, latent vector will be D. Here. Um, so now it is important to understand that um, the input of our vision transformer, uh, since the, in this paper uh, the author are using a CNN backbone instead of uh, inputting directly the image. So. Um, the the um, the, I, the let's let's take an example for example like these um, let's say uh, the CNN outputs uh, a seven by seven by uh, seven hundred and twenty eight for example which is an example from the uh, um, one uh, for like the exception CNN uh, one layers like the towards the end uh, instead of using um, two hundred and twenty four by two hundred and twenty four by three uh, which is an example from ImageNet um, where three is the number of uh, the RGB channels. So um, again, I'm talking about the output feature of the CNN, and in this case, and if we choose the size of our patch to be equal uh, one by one, say we're talking about uh, this patch, uh, but instead of using a patch of 16 by 16, like or 14 by 14, like the original um, transformer paper, uh, this other like we can use, for example, a one by one patch that is a, actual and actually a pixel. But this pixel has a, a width of 728, and if you want to know the uh, dimension of the uh, this, I mean the flattened patches, uh, the flattened patch, the flattened patch, and the projected linearly projected uh, to the this embedded matrix uh, will be the, the dimension will be uh, 728. Uh, again, it's one by one by the number of uh, channels. Uh, where in the um, in this example uh, from the original paper it will be 16 times 16 times 3, which is I believe uh, 768 or something. Um, again, I'm talking about the output feature of the CNN. Um, in this case, um, in this case uh, we are using uh, ResNet 50. So this D, uh, it's actually. Um, it's actually dependent to the, the uh, model that we're re re adopting. For example, the original paper they are proposing uh, the base, the large, and the huge model uh, with uh, three different uh, dimensions, like the 728, 1024, and I believe uh, 1400 and something. Um, the architecture is powerful at modeling 
this architecture actually is a global, uh, I mean, as it's, uh, as it's described by the original paper, it's powerful to model global contexts. However, in this paper, it was shown that uh, using a transformer for encoding the tokenized image patches and then uh, directly staples the hidden feature representation uh, into a dense output of, of a full resolution, uh, this actually leads a, to a sub, sub uh, accuracy, sub uh, optimal accuracy or results. Um, the paper argues that this is due to the uh, low resolution features, uh, features which like detailed localization information. So here we have the original architecture of the UNET uh, by Ronenberger and all in 2015. So the idea behind UNET architecture is to copy, crop, and concatenate uh, this layer. I mean, copy, crop, and concatenate it to the, um, the deconvolution uh, layers uh, through these skip connections. <coughs> So the left side path of the contraction path uh, of this contraction path, uh, or, or the left side of the architecture is called contraction path, and this uh, this uh, right side is called um, uh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, the expansion path. Yeah. So for every one step in the contraction path, we see that we have two convolutions and a max pooling. Um, in the expansion path, we have deconvolution layer and the concatenation, and which is and the concatenation, which is uh, really important uh, in terms of um, uh, later, like for the segmentation and considering the uh, fine fine details. So the concatenation of shallower and deeper layers is due to the reason that uh, shallow regions containing uh, more spatial information and deeper layer containing more image features. So, um, the author of the trans unit argument about the how the skip connection ensure detail retention enhancement. We will see that in a minute. So overall, this is uh, beneficial for extraction uh, low level visual, visual uh, cues, which can well overcome the uh, vision transformer problem uh, of extracting uh, this, I mean, this architecture problem of extracting uh, fine spatial details. So now let's get to the uh, part where the transunit authors introduced CNNs as a feature extractor backbone uh, over here. Um, they're using it as a backbone and then the hidden features are input to the uh, 12 uh, layers of the encoder. So uh, why CNN plus vision transformer not, not only a vision transformer? Uh, it was mentioned in the paper that um, inputting the original image to the vision transformer results in the limited localization abilities, as I mentioned earlier, or maybe the loss uh, of the, uh, the feature resolution, uh, which is due to the limited low-level details again. So to compensate for that, uh, we, we use here a hybrid CN transformer architecture. This is powerful because uh, uh, we leverage the detailed high-resolution spatial information from the CNN features and the global context will be encoded by the transformers. So the role, the role of training or, uh, or pre-training the CNN is that CNNs will be trained to encode images into high-level feature representation. And then patch embedding is applied to one-by-one uh, -one patches, for example, um, extracted from the CNN feature uh, map instead of the raw, raw image, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, there is the transformer encodes tokenized image patches from the CNN feature map as the input sequence. Um, and of course, like extracts global context. So now with the overall architecture proposed by the, um, the authors. So first, let's focus on the casca cascade upsampler, which is just a fancy name for the convolution operations here. Um, so cascade upsampler consists of multiple upsampling uh, steps to decode the hidden feature, uh, this hidden feature over here. Um, so the, um, the cascade upsampler um, is actually a decoder. Um, it upsamples the encoded feature or the self-attempted encoded features from, I, I mean, from the transformer uh, or encoded by the trans, uh, transformer uh, encoders, <laughs> then these encoded features are combined with the high resolution CNN feature maps through, the, uh, uh, through using the, uh, the skip connections. 
This enables precise localization and thus segmentation or classification or, or so on. Um, Cascade App Simpler, together with the hybrid encoder from a U-shaped architecture, but with an extra 12 encoder transformer layers, um, actually um, reached uh, reach the uh, state of the art uh, in the um, uh, segmentation and the medical image. Um, in the medical image. Uh, so it's, I mean, the, the overall, um, as discussed by the authors, the overall architecture um, enables uh, the, ag uh, the feature aggregation at different, different resolution levels uh, through these skip connections. So the authors, uh, the proposed architecture was, as I said, like was a state of the art within medical image segmentation and uh, numerous experiments were conducted. So the number of skip connections, uh, input resolution, sequence length, and the yeah, patch size uh, the patch size and the model scaling. Uh, as a result, um, adding more skip connections generally leads to a better segmentation performance. Uh, integrating unit-like skip connections into the transformer design enables the learning precise low level uh, details. Increasingly effective sequence length shows robust improvements, which is uh, observation by the original paper uh, also like in the vision transformer. A higher segmentation performance is usually obtained with smaller uh, batch size. Again, also in the uh, vision transformer original paper, uh, this was uh, shown. And larger vision transformer model results in a better uh, transformer. Uh, and this observation also again was uh, seen in the vision transformer where they, uh, they, um, they used ImageNet and where the huge model actually outperformed the uh, uh, CNN plus vision transformer or any CNN. So here we can see that, um, I mean, we care more about the uh, small organs, and then we can see that the uh, trans unit, um, the small, the, the small organs are, are detected or segmented, uh, where the others like, fail to, to segment these uh, small organs. So as a conclusion, trans unit sets a new state of the art in the medical image segmentation, and it is the first to use transformer within the, its architecture. Uh, using CNN as feature extraction method is a better than uh, using vision transformer directly on images. And finally, skip connection in coder-decoder architectures improve, improves the overall um, accuracy. Uh, thank you for your attention.